All right, so before we can actually start building our steps, we need to determine our rise and our run. Now to do this, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the measurement from the deck to the ground here. And I've got 25, approximately 25. Now to figure out how many steps I've got, this is gonna let me, this is gonna help me determine my run. I'm gonna take that number and divide it by seven and take it to the next whole number. So that's gonna give me three. So I know I'm gonna have three steps. So and approximately I want my run on each step to be 10 inches. Now you can make them wider than that if you want, um, but you need to be at least 10 inches. So I'm gonna go 10 inches. So that's gonna give me a total run of 30 inches. So what I can do now, run this out here, approximately 30 inches. That's gonna be about right there. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna measure from the ground there and that's going to get me to 25 and a half now that's going to give me 25 and a half which is going to be my total rise now to actually figure this out though there's a couple things i have to take into consideration um, for this instance i have my deck boards already in place so i need to subtract the width of my deck boards which is going to be about an inch um, so first I need to subtract that inch and that's going to take me down to 24 and a half. Now, the reason I need to remove this deck board is because the actual rise and run calculation does not include deck boards on any of the steps. Um, so I need to remove this. Otherwise, I'm going to be the height short. So this final step is going to be uh, one inch shorter than it should be and it won't meet code. Now, the other thing to consider is the finished floor. The way I think about it is think of it as the deck board is already there and that's already on the finished floor. So I need to take that into account. Again, subtract that from the total height on that rise and run. Now, the other thing I need to consider is that this is a slope patio. So on average, a slope patio is usually about two inches every 10 foot. Um, so if I measure here at 25 and my outside measurement was uh, 25 and a half. I know I need to have the board closest here a half inch shorter than the outside board. Um, so I need to consider that as well. That way my first step is actually level um, and then I can build off that. So now that we have our numbers, we can go ahead and put them into dex.com, the calculator, and figure out what our actual rise and run should be. Now, once we get into the stair calculator, we can go ahead and start putting in our numbers. Um, on a side note, I will link to this stair calculator in the description. So first, let's go ahead and put in our total rise. Now, one thing to note is the dex.com will automatically adjust for the height of the first riser. So we don't need to subtract that from the total rise. That being said, dex.com does not know we're attaching to a finished deck. So we do need to subtract the height of the deck board on the top riser. So the number we're going to put in for the total rise is 24 and a half, and then we're going to put in 10 for our run. Now that's going to be the run for each step, not the total run. Then we're going to pick our tread size. Now, if you're just using standard decking boards, it's going to be the five, four by six. Then we're going to pick how we're actually going to attach the steps. Now you can do the outside frame, or you can actually do the outside frame flush. Then we'll go ahead and hit calculate. Now, when we calculate, you can see that it will adjust the first riser height based on the decking board you choose. So if we choose the 5.4, it will go ahead and subtract the one inch on the first step. So it'll you'll see your rise for the first step is five and an eighth, while the other steps are all six and an eighth. Now, if you add up all the total rises it shows, so five and an eighth, six and an eighth, six and an eighth, six and an eighth, you're actually gonna get 23 and a half, not 24 and a half. And that's because again, dex.com makes the adjustment for that first step automatically. 